Afternoon, it's Brentley here from Huckabones Equipment. Today we're going to look at two tilt trailers for you. One from Weber Lane being the black steel trailer and the other one being an all aluminum trailer beside me here from Legend. Stay tuned, we'll go over the specs. All right, so we're gonna start today with Legends All Aluminum Tilt Trailer. This is gonna be a gravity tilt, which means there is a cylinder on it, but there is a cushion cylinder. So there's a line lock that will let the oil flow back and forth so it doesn't just slam down. What you're gonna do is open the line. This will allow it to tilt. Yes, you're gonna to have to walk on the back of the tilt to tilt it whenever it's empty, but driving something up, eventually once it you know crosses the gravity point, then it'll start tilting back down on a cushion. So that just allows it not to slam down. Uh, there will be a safety latch on the other side for safety measures, of course, to lock the, the deck when you're transporting something, um, but the line lock is what will allow it to tilt. All right, so we're gonna start with a few features that Legend does. Uh, most tilt trailers will have these features, but uh, the way they do them is a little bit different. So we'll start with the D-rings here. They do swivel which is really nice of anchoring your load exactly how you need to position the strap and that sort of thing. And they're also recessed. So recess means it's flat with the, the decking. You're not gonna catch that whenever loading something with a pallet or something that way. It is a nice recess feature. The other thing that's up front here is a winch plate. It is a bolt-on feature uh, and you bolt your winch to it, but it will tilt with the deck going up so that your cables won't bind or anything on that tilt part uh, instead of being on the stationary out front. So two nice little features that they do, a little different from the others. All right, moving to the front of the trailer here, we've got the signature three by six mainframe tongue from Legend. This is on most of their trailers. Uh, it gives them a lot of rigidness throughout the trailer and the build for aluminum, along with your two angle frames uh, going out for reinforcement as well. You've got your drop leg jack, which is nice, quick and easy. Drop the leg down, uh, just saves cranking time. And then the 2 and 5 sixteenths ball that's on front is a bolt-on coupler, standard, uh, just stationary, it's not adjustable. Uh, you'll see on the other trailer it will be an adjustable ball coupler because they can weld that bracket to the steel. You can't weld steel to aluminum, so this is a bolt-on feature on this trailer. All right, so just to show you how this will tilt, I've unlatched the locking mechanism. I've opened the line up so you can see it's going to cushion down. So it's just a gravity down tilt, but it's not a slamming down with that cylinder. So a couple other things we'll talk about. We've got a spare mount. It can be put in any uh, stake pocket that you'd like to do. We've picked this one in behind the wheels. Uh, the nice little feature that Legend does as well is a bolt-on fender. Uh, so you can remove this fender if you've got a car that's uh, low profile need to open that door, need a little more space, you can take that fender off and gain that space. We'll talk about the axles and the tires here. We've got torsion axles on this trailer, uh, brakes on all four wheels. It is a 5,200 pound axle trailer, so five ton capacity. Uh, and then of course it's finished off with a nice aluminum rim and uh, 15 inch radial tire. All right, moving over to the Weber Lane uh, steel trailer. This is an all steel frame. It is a little bit lower deck because of the drop axles. Instead of torsion axles, they do a drop axle. So want to get your trailer a little lower and that's uh, always great with the tilt angle, of course, for loading. A couple di different things, a couple same things we'll go over here. Uh, this is a five ton trailer as well. Uh, so 5,200 pound axles, drop axles, brakes on all four wheels but you're back to steel rims, steel radial tire. The other thing it'll have is your winch plate welded on the front. It is part of the tilt deck. So again, it's gonna tilt up with the deck so you're not binding any wires or anything that way. You can mount the whatever winch size you'd like on that. D-rings are here. You are gonna have a nice stake pocket rub rail kind of thing where they just had stake pockets on the aluminum one. And then you do have a toolbox out front, which is kind of a nice feature of holding any of your gear. You could hold your battery for your winch, uh, that kind of thing. So a few, few options there that is a nice feature. So both trailers had a little bump stop. This is what I call a bump stop at the front here. Nice little feature with the steel trailer is they've notched these out to take a chain loop. So just again, another point for tying down could come in handy. Still a drop leg jack, but out front, we talked about an adjustable two and five sixteenths ball. So they've welded on this plate here to the end of the trailer, which gives you, you know, four or five positions to 
change the height of the ball to change your, you know how your tra trailer is traveling this will be a full power tilt so there's already a battery in that box there's already a pump in that box that's another reason why they have the toolbox uh, but this is a full power up power down uh, so a little different from the cushion tilt where you know you're not going to have to walk on it to tilt it you're going to hit a button up and down both of them again the power tilt everyone says well i can hold up the tilt uh, because i want to load two things well that's the same thing with that cushion tilt when you have that line lock you can lock that line closed and even if you loaded something all the way to the front that wouldn't go down so you can still load two things on a, either trailer um, if you didn't have that cushion tilt feature on that tilt then yes it would slam down uh, and you wouldn't be able to hold it up but you can power it up power it down we'll do that in a second moving back again 5200 pound axles tandem axle all brakes on all four wheels, radial tires on steel rims. You're gonna have steel fenders that are welded, not removable, so a little difference again. You're gonna have a wood deck. The other one had an all aluminum deck. So in a sense, you're gonna save about a thousand pounds going to aluminum. Yes, it's gonna be more money, but the towing capacity is actually increased with the same axles because the trailer weight is a thousand pounds less. So you're actually gonna be able to haul a thousand pounds more on the same axle. So nice little feature there. Again, D-rings all the way around. There's actually eight of them on this trailer. There's four recessed on the Legend. Uh, stake pockets and rub rail on this where there's just stake pockets on the other. Uh, all LED light. Th this is kind of the wrap up of the five ton trailer as you see it, but we'll power it up now so you can see that. Undo a couple of your safety latches. Again, spare tire holders on this side in a stake pocket. Same as the Legend, could go in any stake pocket you want to hold your spare tire in. Push your button up, push your button down. All right, to wrap up the video today, again, we looked at the Legend all aluminum tilt trailer, a five ton unit to be exact, 20 feet long to be exact. Uh, key features on this trailer, removable fenders, all aluminum flooring, uh, recessed D-rings. You do have your winch mount plate on this. Uh, it is a cushion tilt, so that means there is a line lock lever that you can cushion the tilt on how fast it goes up and down, along with lock it up or down. Um, you'll have your mechanical lever here to, for a safety latch, a drop leg jack, 2 and 5 16 ball, LED lights, uh, nice features here on the axles of 5,200 pound axles were torsions with brakes on all four wheels and aluminum rims. So very, very nice specced out trailer, very nice trailer to pull. It'll look good all the time, uh, being aluminum uh, all the way around. Back to the steel Weber Lane. Again, painted steel, so primed and painted. Uh, steel rims on this instead of aluminum drop axles. So it, it's actually a lower tilt trailer than the aluminum one being a drop axle, but you're gonna go to a wood floor instead of aluminum. You're gonna have a few more tie down points. Uh, you're gonna have welded fenders. Uh, nice feature on the front is a adjustable two and five sixteenths ball. And again, you are gonna get that toolbox, but the main reason is this is a power up, power down tilt. So there's a battery and pump in that toolbox along with the power up, power down that we saw in the video uh, for full tilt options. Thanks for watching today. Uh, if you did like what you saw, like and subscribe. And of course, uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.